The rain show may actually help improve housing in one Benton County community. KCRG TV9's Jackson Valenti joins us now in the studio with Atkins' plan for a big federal grant. Jim Atkins is using a million dollars in grant money to build six affordable housing units for first-time home buyers. Today, I talked to one buyer who says the program is going to make a big impact. I love this place. <laughs> And I really do think this is going to be my first home. Joyce Lewis is getting ready to be a new homeowner. It's thanks to federal grant money used for the development of these duplexes that are a byproduct of the 2020 derecho. And this just lowers the threshold enough that it makes it possible for them to do it. Jeff Ralston is the builder behind this new affordable housing project in Atkins. Two of the units are for sale right now at $175,000, more than $100,000 cheaper than their retail value. The program also gives up to $35,000 in down payment assistance. No, it gave me a little push. You know, I know I needed to do this, I wanted to do this, but I was just hesitant, you know, but this just made me take the next step. Joyce lived in Marion back in August of 2020. She had to move in with family in Dubuque after the storm. People who are eligible must meet income requirements with a priority going to people who are impacted by the derecho. And they may go through their entire life working every day, hard jobs, uh, doing things in their community, but not being able to afford a home. And, and this will give them an opportunity to do that. Two of the homes are already under purchase contract, two others are available, and the last two are to be built in December. For Joyce Lewis, it would be the calm almost four years after the storm. I am ready. Yep. I deserve it. I work hard enough for it. I deserve it. The disaster relief grant is administered by East Central Iowa Council of Governments. The Ralston Eco Homes will be hosting an open house on next Sunday, the 21st. In the studio, Jackson Valenti, KCRG TV9 News.